Chris Hertz here, Hertz and Don Masonry, summer 2014. Here we are in a barn built in the 1730s in Solberry, which is in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. We restored this barn, or helped restore this barn, in the summer of 2013. What you can see here is these are old barn walls, original to the building. And from about this point down, due to moisture, they were all eroding and decomposing. Now, this barn had been repaired, but they had used a Portland-based mortar to repair it. Big no-no. Anything that has historic mortar on it that was, you know, from the 19, early 1900s back, you're going to have to use a lime-based mortar. Now the difference here is that the Portland mortar, when it forms, it makes crystal-like molecules. Now that is very strong if you have a strong base, but if there's any kind of little movement, they're going to break and crack. Now the difference with the lime-based mortar, it forms sheet molecules. Now they form like this, so if there is a little bit of movement, so these old bonds are always going to be moving, it's going to be able to have a little slip, a little play. Now, when we say a little play, it's still, still rock solid, but on the molecular level, it's going to have a little bit more flex to it. And as you can see here, John Morrow was key in this restoration, and it's gentlemen like him that really are preserving these old places in Bucks County and keeping the tradition alive. We're doing a great job with it. And... They're really going back to how it originally was, which is very important, and really preserves the beauty of it, too. You can also see here we installed some Henry Mercer tiles. Here we have the, uh, the carpenter's axe, a tool that was most likely used in framing all the rough timber here. Um, very uh, unique tile to this area. Henry Mercer and the Moravian Tile Company out of Doylestown made these about a couple hundred years ago. And you see a lot of these little Easter eggs hidden around barns, so we, uh, we decided to go ahead and install some of these tiles as well. You can see more of the restoration process here. I'll get my shadow out of it a little bit. Um, so these walls were originally had much more masonry. There were some stones in it, but it was some of them were past the point that we could just patch them up with the lime-based mortar. So we had to add stones. And one look that's very popular is these are called truth windows almost. They show the interior of the wall. Here we uh, put some stone and laid some stone in them and then reapplied the mortar in a rough, ruiny look so you can still kind of see the uh, the uh, interior of it, um, you know, this was all done by us, but it's it's kind of cool just doing that little uh, that little look to it to give it the uh, the stones coming in, have a little bit of artistic play with it instead of just having an all white lime plaster. And you can see another uh, Moravian tile here, Henry Mercer design, the corn stalk colors really come out with the barn here, um, with the yellows and the dark reds, and. Again, if you walk this way, you can see another section where we have the truth window, the lime mortar going over the stones to give it the appearance of a solid stone wall with uh, the lime mortar over the top of it. If you walk into here, you can see a truth window to what was originally there. You've got to always watch your head in these old places. So here you can see this was the original base of the wall. Now this was, it's still very strong structurally, that's why we left it and we didn't need to repair it and um, so you can still kind of see the, the truth to the wall, if you will. Now you can see lots of aggregate in it and this is still the lime-based mortar that they did. It's much more like an old historic concrete, if you will. And then, you know, down here we did repair with the lime mortar. Here you can see the original lime mortar plaster over it with layers and layers of the lime paint. Now, it's again, if you're whitewashing these, it's very important to use lime-based paint as well. So, one of the other benefits for the lime is that it goes back to that sheet structure versus the needle structure of the Portland-based cement, where the Portland-based cement will trap moisture behind the wall. And that will help, or basically act as a catalyst 
for the erosion of the mortar behind the wall. It'll trap that moisture in. It'll sit there. It'll almost turn it to like a dust type of thing. Now, with the lime mortar, you really uh, you really get some breathability there. You get some moisture in, but you get some moisture out. So it's a uh, it's kind of working with Mother Nature than fighting it. Um, here at Hertz and Dunn Masonry and Landscapes, we do a lot of these historic repairs in the uh, the area, Bucks County, Pennsylvania. If you'd like to uh, give us a call, ask us questions, we'd be happy to help with, you know, do it yourself. Or, you know, you can always come and uh, take a look at it and tell you what we think. Number is 215-534-6912. You can also find us on the web at HertzandDunnMasonry.com. Thank you very much. Have a good day.